It has turned out to be a beautiful afternoon here. Swing and a miss at that one. In the chair and well, speak of the devil. Mention the name Maximo and there we have it. The first of the match flicks it away. Comes into the box and this time it goes for six runs. So they made a good start here in match 59. This time he goes over cover off the back foot. What a stroke that is. All the way into the dugout. That's six over cover. And I tell you what, Gravinda, when he's in this kind of mood, he's going to go after this one. He's picked out the fielder, though, and he holds on. So a huge wicket. And the danger man, well, one of the danger men for Gracia. He struck it very nicely. The catch had to be taken. Well, he's going to go for it. He hasn't quite got all of it. It's going to fall into a gap. And it might have just gone all the way. And no, it just bounces inside the field of play. So that will be a boundary to Muktia. This time he's going to go for it. It's got the height. I think it's got the elevation as well. All the way over long off. Another Maximo to Bajwa. Yeah, back-to-back -back boundaries there. Happy Singh disappointed. He wasn't able to stop the four. But nobody's going to stop that one. And this one, it's uppish. And again, it might get away from the field. It does. He's getting going. We've seen how destructive he can be once he gets going, Bajwa. This time again, last two strokes, not quite off the middle of the bat, but getting 10 runs. He looks like he's ready to rock here for Gracia in match 59 of the Fan Code European Cricket Series. Well, this time, Gravinda's after him, and he's got another one over the fence. He's feeding the snakes. Another six to Gravinda, another Maximo to Gracia. Well, there was just the Maximo and five singles off that over, so 11 of it. Yeah, 72 for one after five. Power G continues, and he disappears. Another Maximo. And Govinda, oh, could he get a second century in the series? It'd be incredible if he did. Oh, you can't bowl at his legs, can you? If you bowl it at his legs, it's going to go only in one direction. Well, not even the snakes going to get to those. Well, 20 is a magical over. I don't know if we have a word for 30. Might be super magical. Here's Wajid. And he's given him. Regardless, that's the end of the over. Gracia, they brought up the 100. They're 100 for two. He's gone up, and I think this might go all the way. The fielder, well, he tries his best, and he gets another six runs, and he's in the 90s. He goes to 95. So could he do it again? And he does! Six of the best, and another century for Gravinda Bajwa, his second of the series. And what an innings it has been. That was in a score of 222, but of course that was the European Greek League, not European Greek Series. His six more of the best. Another half does. Gravinda, well, he just keeps on keeping on, doesn't he? We've had some magic overs. We might call him David Copperfield because he's got the show and he's able to repeat it every over at the moment. Everything's magic. Yeah, the highest score in the European Cricket League. And this one, well, it's going even bigger. Make that 126 and watch out. He's gone up to 126. And Gracia, well, that brings up there 150. Still eight balls to go. Oh, and he does it in style. That's six more. Maximo. Six more runs and the highest individual score in a T10 match. He comes again. Well, here's six of them. This will take him to 149. So it's disappearing. Ball after ball. Well, you can forget about this one. This one's gone a long way and that takes him to 150. He's now scored 155 off 44 balls and a warm round of applause from everyone at the ground and well deserved as well. Well, the lad won. Much like Scott Edwards in that innings back in 2019, he miscues the last ball, just the single. So he'll end up with 156 not out off 45 balls in a total of 182 for two. off we're starting down the leg side it's a good take from the keeper it's hard through the gap the ball will race away there four runs a nice positive banning you wouldn't expect anything less from the big man the captain himself the important thing here for Fateh well this one it might go all the way it just pitches inside the boundary so again four runs to Falco no, not to Falco to Fateh I should say 
It's a nice looking shot off the back foot. It's going to beat the field. Nice looking stroke off the back foot. And that's exactly what Fateh need to regain some confidence. I don't think they're going to get... And sometimes I don't think at all. <laughs> this next one's up in the air. And the chance is on. It's that man. Well, what a day he's having. Guvinda Bajwa. As if he hadn't already hogged enough Dream 11 points. He's taken the first catch of the innings. Oh, and it's a beauty. It's right on the money. Knocks them over. Chuck their foot there, style. He knows we're talking about him. Yeah, he's has a look this way. Anyway, gets another man, takes a second wicket. I said, what's the story behind this hair? He said, Rico Paji, it's blue. Well, this is up. It's high. I think this is going to go all the way. I tell you what, this one might bring some rain. Oh, it's a nice effort on the boundary, but Muktia, uh, he would have had to have been about 50 metres tall to stop this one. And the heart gets some of the treatment. Up in the air. Nice shot. This should be out. And it is. So another one goes down. And it's Randip. Well, you can't blame him for having a go. It was swung away with a thick edge. And Trilichan, well, he's coming to the attack. Bit of a way movement. And he does it again. Cool deep. Well, we talked about it. Late pitch for man of the match. And he's got his third wicket. So he has three for six. And this time he's batting cool deep, bolt cool deep. So uh, well, the two of these are having a little battle. His good friend, Grivinda, did the, did the business. Now this next one has gone straight over our heads. It's going to bounce off the wall, come back for six runs and a maximo to Hargajit Singh. This is up and cool deep. Well, he almost took the catch. Oh, again, he wants that man of the match trophy. I'm telling you, Rico. Doesn't he just... Uh, <laughs> He's dropped a catch, though. He's a nice effort. This will make for a nice replay. Watch this. He goes... Takes probably six steps and launches himself. Launched. It's over mid-wicket. It's going to go all the way for a maximo. So, a good finish to the over. But there. Well, they're past the 50 mark at least. After eight overs there. 57 for four. Well, that one has gone from the surface and straight into the wickets. And those Fanco sticky wickets getting a bit of punishment. Again, you can't blame the batsman, Hagajit. Saw him hit a lusty blow. If Minaj are going to pip them on one, it may be the first one as you see another wicket go through there. And that's very good bowling. Just bowling wicket to wicket, bowling nice and straight. And Vide Kuma, well. And they get to register a win in the Fancode European Cricket Series. This is hit nicely into the gap, and that'll be four runs. So that will end this match. And Fateh, well, in, in the end, they stagger to a score of 72 for 6. They go down 182 to 72. The margin of victory, 110 runs. That shows you how comprehensive this performance was from Gracia.